Hi, I'm Michelle Waters with Rethink ELA, and I'd like to welcome you to my website, and I'm excited to have you here, and I'm looking forward to offering you opportunities and the tools and resources that you need in order to amplify student voices in your English language arts class. With that in mind, I'd like to introduce you to my website, and if you'll take a look at your screen, which I'm sure you already are, um, you'll see that I have the latest blog post at the time that I was recording. But what we're going to talk about today is the customer area. And you can see that right up here where the top menu is located. I'm going to assume though that you have placed an order for one of our products, maybe one of our short story units, and are trying to figure out how to go about um, accessing that lesson plan or that short story unit. First of all, we're going to back up just a little bit and we're going to actually look at the shop. So I'm going to click the shop link. Um, if you're wanting to purchase on my website, you would click one of these learn more and buy here links. For example, um, if you look at the social justice writing project, that's all that is there because I worked with a joint venture partner. I can't sell this on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I'm just going to go ahead and click through very quickly. Um, you scroll down. I'm not advertising in this video, so I'm just going to scroll right through and you click the buy now button to order. Um, I've also recently updated our credit card acceptance system so you can pay via PayPal or Stripe now. But you'll fill out this information, click the next button and continue filling this information out. Um, once you've done that, you'll end up on this page and you'll see how much you paid, you'll see some uh, numbers that are important for you to keep, you'll receive this in your email. There's also a please click here to access your members area link. I know that one is kind of hidden, so I especially wanted to make sure that you saw this. So in order to access your information, you can click here on this button, or if you go to your email, it'll say access to your, um, and then it's whatever unit you purchased. In this case, I purchased the landlady close reading unit. You'll receive this email that has the link to that particular product and your username. And of course, you'll use the password that you use to sign up. If you don't remember that password, there's a link to get that password resent or to reset that password. So anyway, we go back to this page and in order to access the actual materials, we can click this link. And of course, since I'm creating a video, it's going to take a little bit of time to load. Um, what you're seeing here is the list of active resources. And these are the products, the lesson plans, rubrics, and whatever you have purchased or um, signed up to download. So I'm going to go ahead and click through to the Social Justice Writing Project. Click this link and you can see I have some teacher instructions and resources. This is a teacher guide that's in a PDF. I have zip files where if you have a really good internet connection you can just click here, download it to your computer and um, save it and open it up on on your computer and access the files that way. Uh, in this particular unit I have a printed copy of an essay that a joint venture partner wrote. Um, I also have included a Google Doc that is a web quest and it will create a copy of that Google Doc that you can save into your Google Drive. Um, there's also a PDF version of it. And then I have some PowerPoint slides that you can download to provide a lesson to your students each day. In this particular unit, I've also created rubrics and checklists that you can use in order to um, help your students evaluate themselves and help you evaluate their products and their process as well. So this is basically how um, our system works. If you have any questions and need help, you can go to support. There's an, uh, an FAQ and then there's also the help desk. And I, I haven't submitted any tickets under this testing account, but if you click submit new ticket, then you can uh, write a subject, tell me what, it, what help you need, and then 
put a message in here and then click save and then that will send me an email and I will reply to you. Naturally because I am a classroom teacher if it's during the school year it, and during the school day it may take me some time to get back to you but I assure you I will do so as soon as possible. So again if you have any questions send me a ticket through the help desk and um, thank you very much. I appreciate you.